All right, y'all, we already did an example for a text twist with our counting. So we're going to look at another example for an MUN delegation. All right, as many of you know, MUN is a group of kids that get together and argue about global issues. I, I mean, they, they talk about global issues. And um, in Model United Nations, you might have a big group at school, but not everybody gets to go when they go to the big uh, argument, I mean discussion. And so in this delegation, let's see that, let's say that at our school, we've got seven girls and we have eight boys. Okay, they are in our MUN club at school. All right, y'all. And so now that we have that, we're going to say that when they make their big trip to their big model United Nations, that they can only take 10 delegates. Okay, so now we got 10 delegates, which means some of those poor children don't get to go. Uh, I feel so sad for those children. But anyway, that's not our concern. What we're concerned with is letter A, how many delegations are possible. Okay, now one thing that we need to ask ourselves is does the order matter? Does it matter if it's Bobby and Sammy and Gina or if it's Gina and Sammy and Bobby in the order that they're picked? And the answer is no, the order doesn't matter. And since the order doesn't matter, then we're going to consider combinations, not permutations. All right? And so when we do that, we've got 15 people, 15 chillins that want to go, but we can only pick 10 of them. And so this is going to be 15 NCR10. And I'm going to be using this. You could just as easily write it, remember, as 1510. That's N over R. And you can also do it using your factorials because our factorials would just be 15 factorial over 15 minus 10 factorial divided by 10 factorial. All right, and so that allows us to choose 10 students out of our group. All right, so if we go to our calculator, now as I'm doing this, we are going to go 15. We'll go into our math, we'll go over to probability, and we will do NCR 10. And you will notice that we end up with 3,003 possible delegations. All right, so we've got 3,003 possible delegations, possible combinations of students using just these 15 little boys and girls. All right, so now let's consider a different interesting question. Let's say that MUN comes up with a gender equality rule. All right, so let's say there is a gender equality rule. All right, which says that you must have five boys and five girls. All right, just to be fair, to make sure that it's the same. So now we have to consider what is the possibility that we're going to have five boys and five girls. So the way that we're going to consider this is let's first consider the girls. All right, so we take the girls first. And so out of the girls, we're going to choose five of them. So I've got seven girls, and I'm going to go N, C, R, and I'm going to choose five of them, just like that. All right? Now, then I'm going to consider the boys, and now boys, there are eight of them, and so I'm going to go N, C, R. Again, I'm going to choose five of them boys. And so in the middle... Remember, these are two different paths. First, I'm going to take this path to choose my five girls, and then I'm going to choose this path to, to choose my five boys. And so remember, when you do one path and then another, these are independent. The choosing of the girls does not affect the choosing of the boys. Since these are independent and consecutive and in order, we're going to multiply them. And so that's going to be pretty easy now because we're just going to go straight into our calculator and we're going to say we want 7 in CR 5, which is 21. 
So there's 21 possible combinations of the girls. And then we're going to do 8 NCR5 for the boys. And so we're going to do this the easy way and just change that 7 to an 8. And I got 56 possibilities for the boys. And we multiply those two together. And so we go times 21. Actually, you could even write that out. I'll show you in just a second. And we got 1,176 possible uh, permutations or possible delegations that we could get in our group. Now, like I said before, if you wanted to, you could go into this and we just say 8 NCR5 and then we could go 7 math, go over to the probability, NCR5 and you could do it that way and it would do it all together and oh, we got the same thing. How do you like that one? All right, so again, we got 1176. This also, remember, you could use the equation for if you wanted to. And this, again, you could write this as 7, 5, and then times 8, 5. Just remember, these, these are in, in and R, and so we can't just magically multiply those. We have to actually work them out before we can do that multiplication. All right, let's ask ourselves another question. Let's say, what if there need to be three of each gender? Okay, so a minimum of three of each gender. Now, there's a couple of ways to work through this. Some of you are smarter than me, and you'll be able to figure this out. But when I think about things like this, I say, okay, that means I can have three girls and seven boys. Or I can have four girls and six boys. Or I can have five girls and five boys. Or I can have six girls and uh, four boys. Or I can have seven girls and I can have three boys. Just like that. All right. And so I'm thinking about the different possibilities of what I can have. Now, if you think about it, this is all the possible combinations except for one. There's only one possibility that doesn't fit into this group because there's only seven girls, right? And so this counts all the girls, and that's the minimum number of girls. It's not possible. The only other possibility is two girls and eight boys, right? Because there's not more than eight boys. So you can't take less than two girls anyway. There's only seven girls, so you can't take less than three boys anyway. You've got to have three boys for those seven girls. And so really, this is all the possibilities except for this one right here with two girls and eight boys. And so the way we're going to work this out is we're going to take the total combination of delegations, which we talked about at the beginning, that 3,003, and we're going to subtract this possibility of having two... Sorry, out of seven girls. So 7NCR2. And then out of eight boys, NCR8. So that's all, all of them boys, right? And so what this does, remember up here we said if we wanted five and five, we just go 7NCR5, 8NCR5. So that shows five girls and five boys. This is going to choose two girls and then all eight boys. That's going to limit the possibilities of how many there can be because this is just the combinations. That means that all the boys are going. And so really we're, we're limited on the possibilities of how many girls and which girls go. So I take the total. I subtract the groups that only have two girls. And so if I do that, and I can do all of that on my calculator right here, I just go 300, zero, zero, oh, zero, zero, 003 just like that and now I'm gonna subtract and now I'm gonna copy that from up there just like that make sure I still got that 3000 on there oh it didn't do it so we're just gonna add that 3003 right there minus oh it erased it oh I hate it when it does that alright well we'll just go ahead and delete so we just go that we need seven and then we go into math, and oh no, we go into math, and we go NCR, so 7 NCR2, and then 8 
8 NCI 8. Do you know what 8 NCI 8 is? You should probably be able to figure out what 8 NCI 8 is. But when you work it out, you get 2,982 possible delegations. So 2,982 possible delegations from that group. All right. Um, now let's consider one other question just because I think it'll be helpful to you. I know we're already up to 10 minutes, but I got one more question. Okay. Our delegation, our group from school, out of those seven girls and eight boys, one of them is the president. Okay. So I want to know um, how many delegations would include the president, Mr. President. Okay, because let's say that we pick them randomly. The president doesn't automatically get to go. And so I need to figure out how many delegations will actually include the president. And we can actually consider what is the probability that president El Presidente will be selected. So what we're going to do is remember we got, we got 10 slots there, right? 8, 9, 10. So if Mr. President is the first slot, then that is one of my 15 kids, which means I got 14 kids left for 9 slots. And so in order to figure this one out, all I need to do is go 14 in CR 9. Because I got 14 kids left for 9 slots, and that will tell me how many possible ways I can have Mr. President there. And so if I take El Presidente and I go 14 in CR 9, I find that there are 2,002 possible ways to include El Presidente. So that is 2,002. So if there are 2,002 possibilities with the president, that means that 2,002 out of 3,003 include El Presidente, which is exactly two-thirds of the delegations will include Mr. President. Now that should make sense because 10 out of 15 chillins go. So if 10 out of 15 chillins go, two-thirds of the chillins get to go. And if they get to go, then it's two-third possibility that the President will be included. All right? I hope this is helpful as you start to go through your NCR and NPR as you're trying to figure out which one to use. All right, good luck on your homework.